Hi everyone, it's Blythe to Life. I am Tanya. I just got another, I know I've got a billion of these dolls now, but just got another Blythe um, factory Blythe in the mail. Thought I would share it with you. And she was on sale, so um, I can't really miss a sale. So, especially with their prices going up. I don't know if anyone else has noticed on AliExpress, but the prices are going up. If you can tell, she is a black doll. And of course, these are her extra hands. They sent them in a different package. No, to be honest, I don't remember what shop I bought her from. I only go between like three different shops. So um, the China BJD um, ball jointed doll shop and uh, Blythe Homes. And there's one more that I can't. Oh, the show. But that's the other one. And I didn't bring scissors. I'll be right back. I want to say it's from the show, but I can't remember. I'm just going to put the packaging back in. Oh, she's pretty. And I got um, her with this. Like, she made me think of Storm, the X-Men Storm, with her purplish hair and then her dark skin tone. Her hair doesn't feel as nice as some of them do. Oh, that's right. We will... I'll mess with her hair later. I want to keep the rubber band and the... I want to call that a helmet? Her face shield? <laughs> um, because I'll put that back on her if I sell her and she ships. Look at this craziness. I don't think I've ever seen this. Look at this on her head. This is on the back of her head. And it goes all the way around to the front of her hair. Huh. That is strange. I don't. I haven't had that before. That's new. I guess it's to protect the back of her head. So here she is. I guess I better... Show the camera and not me. Okay, where's your pull string? So right now she's got the pink eyes. And these are gray. Blue. And orange. Or like a peachy color to me. And pink. I like the off to the, looking off to the side for sure. So the hair doesn't feel as thick as normal. The rooting looks all right. Maybe whoever did this made the hair thinner because I know a lot of people like complain that their hair is too thick a lot of the time, which I don't know. I don't mind the thick hair to be honest. I'm just looking through, looks pretty consistent. Very nice. And her hair is, like, I thought it was just a purpley, kind of a purpley gray, but if you can tell, it's got, like, some purple, um, of course, but then it's also got, like, a light blue mixed in. I'm not really sure how I feel about that. Oh, this is the end, sorry. Mm. So I'm going to cut it down. I don't think I'll leave it. I don't, I don't know, personally, don't like the super long um, so I usually cut the hair, like, about in half. Um, although I do like the shorter, like, to the shoulder, um, look as well. So I'm not really sure what I'll do, um, at that point. Sorry, I have a rambunctious cat behind me. Playing. So if you hear any cat sounds... That's why. So she's pretty. Um, I just wasn't expecting the hair to have like purple highlight. It's like blue with purple highlights. Basically. Which isn't terrible. I can work with this. 
Um, so I was thinking, like, I'm working on a couple, or at least one black face. I don't remember. I have a scalp that I'm working on for someone. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> yeah, I've got three, actually, that I'm working on. So, um, I'll be able to... I'm just in the sanding mode, if you can't tell. So, um, yeah, some of these I, I got through most of them with the rougher sanding. Now I gotta, I'll go back in with the finer, oops, sandpaper, um, and get the finishing touches on those, and then I'm gonna be ready to add color soon, so. Anyway, this is the new doll. Um, I'm going to put her away so that I, um, of course have her ready for a new face soon. Of course I'll swap out the eyes for some eyes that I've printed out. Um, and of course they'll be, um, their resin. I don't like to use the glass. The resin f just fits in the mechanism so much nicer. So... Anyway, I'll be quiet now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.